Hey everyone, welcome back to the Fashion 26.2. I'm just going on an evening run right now, and I'm slowly trying to implement a couple of new things into my training as these races are coming up very, very quickly. The Newport Marathon coming up in just nine weeks' time, and the New York City Marathon in 13 weeks. So everything's coming up very, very quickly. And so this run, literally as I'm posting it, as I'm recording, is coming off right off the completion of the women's marathon in Tokyo, or should I say Sapporo in Japan. And it was amazing to watch the women across many different countries just do their thing, specifically Molly Seidel being the young one representing the United States and doing her thing, getting bronze. It was just awesome to watch. And it helps people like us to finally kind of find that motivation to get out and run again. Since coming back from a family road trip a few weeks ago, I kind of lost my way in the motivation department where it was really difficult to kind of wake up early in the mornings, get back to my usual rhythm. I know. So it kind of gives me a good idea whether I, I should take another vacation while I'm mid training block because it definitely threw me off a bit. And even right now, it's just raining. <laughs> so I'm like, it's been really hard to get a break to have some good footage to take you along with me on a run. Uh, it's been really difficult for me to find good sunlight. So I might as well, you know, just bring you along and just understand that it's not picture perfect weather no matter what. I haven't forgotten. The question from one of uh, the viewers was asking when we're training for a fall marathon and we're having to just uh, simply just survive and endure training during the summer, how is it possible for us to put in our longest long run when the heat and humidity prevents us from going 20 miles? My coach told me that in order to prevent injury, we want to make sure that the longest long run does not exceed three hours. So for as long as you can run, and we're not talking about fast here, we're talking about simply LSD, long, slow run. However long it takes you, just slow it down due to the weather and simply just grind until you get to three hours, that's where you'll peak. So in order to develop enough endurance, you gotta make sure to implement a little bit more intensity elsewhere in your training week. So you're very likely, you'll have a, a medium long run in the middle of the week, and then you'll probably have two extra quality days throughout. And that's just simply what I've been doing since coming back from my road trip, getting the legs to start moving again for longer periods of time. Yes, it's great to make sure you have some fitness in you, early on in the training plan. Go ahead and do those intervals, 400 meters, 800 meters. Well, as you, soon as you're into week seven, week 10, week 12 of a marathon training plan, you'll likely start increasing those intervals to 800 meters, which is essentially a half a mile and then up. You'll likely start increasing those intervals to 800 meters, which is essentially a half a mile and then up as you do those intervals. And then put, make sure to put in some threshold work that will span about 30, 40 minutes where if you involve your warm-ups and your cool-downs, it'll take an hour. And so that's what you want your body, your legs to get accustomed to. All right, it's getting pretty bad out here, so I'm gonna go ahead and hurry on home. Woo! Not even a mile and a half in, I'm like, all right, I might have to call this run a little early. I'll come back in the morning and hopefully the weather will clear up a bit. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. All right, <laughs> so what a change. Thankfully, I wanted to share with you how quickly the changes are in Florida, especially during the summers is that if you don't like the weather, just wait another 15 minutes. 
and at least for for me to go on a run where you can be able to see how much it changes it's it's pretty crazy so last night i came i left the i left the house with clear skies and then 10 minutes later you already saw what happened right so now it's the morning back to hot and humid so for the last few weeks i've been again trying to just make it all condensed this time since i'm trying to say for the third time or so so the last few weeks i've been trying to implement a few things trying to get my motivation back up and running again because once i had the the taste of sleeping in a little bit especially during a vacation it uh i caught it and that's all i really wanted to do was kind of delay and extend my my morning run to a later time which for me i'm a morning runner and so i had to shift a lot of the, those days to evening runs told me like hey stop sleeping in you got work to do you got two races in the fall so that helped me steer myself back in the right direction i want to make sure that even though ultimately i mean i have a 20 miler in this training block i want to make sure i implement other things that would get me race ready either through an intensity level or a fitness level so i want to make sure that i begin to implement a few doubles which essentially means two days one in the morning one in the evening this past week i did it uh not too bad it was i think it was a four mile morning run and then followed by a three mile evening run if you're planning to do doubles make sure that you have a, a big enough base for you to do that if you're just starting out i would not suggest it uh just because you need to develop strength in your muscles for you to recover quickly enough for you to be able to do a second run in a day so thankfully as well the olympics have been going on for the last few weeks so just watching everything that's been going on just just naturally motivates me it's just really nice to see how hard people work to get to that level and so right now i just got nothing on my mind except how awesome last night's marathon was for the ladies it was amazing well i was kind of hoping for alafi and tulimuk to pull a medal out there for mothers all over it wasn't meant to be kudos to our representative for usa getting the bronze medal molly seidel and it was amazing for as much as uh she lacks in a marathon experience so for her to hang in there with one of the best or if not the best that's a tough one right there that's that's tough mindset that's tough training and perfect execution even when it comes to a, a bronze you can't really say no to how it ended up for her so many kudos to her and so i can't wait to so i can't wait to see what happens tonight in the men's marathon i'm going to keep my uh my prediction to myself so i want you to just be aware that you're not the only one who is trying to go through a rut especially during the summer it is really hot it does not necessarily help too much because humidity just spikes up every single time there's a drop so with about two or three months remaining in training i'm going to make sure to keep myself motivated keep myself in it knowing that hey it's coming race day is nearing one day at a time it's gonna get there and just keep in mind that despite what your paces say remember that it's just summer that's summer mode training so your pace is gonna be a lot slower than will it ultimately will be on race day so just keep that in mind continue to dream big keep putting in the hard work and make the impossible possible you never know what you can do take care and have a good one. See you on the next one.